Vaporwave bundles, we have a series of EQs called the Q1, Q4, ETC. This is a Q1 EQ, which means it has one band. Um, so if all you want to do is add some treble or take out some treble or add some bass, take out some bass, add some mid-range, take out some mid-range, or filter out some lows, if you haven't seen the tutorials on EQing, please watch them. It would be common for me to do this on a vocal because I here's where my vocal is and there's some low notes. This is treble, this is mids overall, and this is bass. A vocal, if you looked on the PAZ uh, spectrum analyzer lesson that came just before this, you'll see that a vocal only, it's the low end of the vocal is only around here, like 62 at the lowest, and the treble of the vocal is up there. So for me to take this and do, this is what's called a high pass filter, because it allows the highs to pass, but it filters out the low end. If there was a, a vocal, someone singing, and you could hear the bass guitar bleeding through the headphone or trucks going by, or the kick drum bleeding through or bass guitar bleeding through, to do this would filter out all the low ends on the vocal where the vocal isn't, so it won't affect the vocal. It'll just filter out the noise. So up here is all the vocal, and we're filtering out everything below it. Likewise, if we're working on something like a bass guitar, or something like that. This would be a low pass filter because it allows the lows to pass. We could filter out some hiss on a kick drum or a bass guitar because the bass guitar, the actual musical sound of the bass guitar is in here, but up here might just be hiss. Um, and one thing that's important to mention is that if there's like an unnoticeable amount of hiss on one track, but you multiply it by 24 tracks, then you have a noticeable amount of hiss. So I filter often on almost every track. The big mixing boards that I work in have uh, filters on pretty much every channel on the board. Now the reason to use the Q1 over the Q3 or Q4 or Q10 is if you're only going to use one band, say to just add some treble or add some bass, it's a lower load on the computer to use just a one band EQ. Um, this is our Q adjustment. If you look at our uh, EQing tutorials, you'll see exactly what the Q is, and the bell bell curve, and the the notch, and the frequency. You'll learn all about that. But this Q1 is just a one band EQ, and if you're only going to utilize one band, like I said, adding treble or bass, then you should use the one band because the more bands you have, the more of a load that it is on your computer. Let's look more uh, on so on an EQ with more bands on it. Let's look at the Q10. See, we have the Q2, Q3, Q4, Q6. The rule is use just as many bands as you need to use. Don't uh, open a 10-band EQ if you only need to use one band. See, now we have two bands on here. This is the Q2, so we could add treble and we could add bass. Or we could add treble and we could filter out the low end noise. You see, we could use one band, like we talked about in the last tutorial, to filter out any noise that's below the vocal. And we could use our second band to maybe add treble or whatever. General rule, use only as many bands as you need. This would be adding treble, and this would be filtering out noise. Let's take a quick look at the 10-band EQ, just so we know what's going on with it. The Q10 parametric EQ has 10 bands, which allows you to do lots of elaborate things. For example, if we have an uh, uh, S in a vocal, tss, 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 like that that's usually just one specific pitch so we could take one of our parametrics and we could find what that pitch is the Q is the width whenever you see Q like this it's the width this is called a bell curve and that's called a notch we could take the notch we could find where our S is it's usually between like uh, 4 and 9 
And it's like one specific note, like that S would be one specific note. So we could pull out that one specific note that was like too loud. And then we could still add treble to the overall vocal by using a separate parametric. See, I'm adding treble, but I'm taking out that one offensive pitch. Likewise, when we come over to here, we can, if you have a ground bus, which in the U.S. is usually um, 60 hertz, because that's what our electrical power is at, 60 hertz. We could come over here, and we can make a nice notch out of it, and we could take that little ground buzz and take it out, which is neat, because it's only taking out a little slice. You won't feel like you lost all of your low end. You might not even notice this, other than at 60 hertz, right here at 60 It'll like take our little ground buzz and this will be like a volume for our little ground buzz. You could take the ground buzz out and like we did on the high end, you could also add low end while still taking the ground buzz out. We could adjust our Q here. So see, we can still add low end and we put our little ground buzz uh, filter here, a notch. So we call this a notch filter when we take out like an at well we'll turn down an S. if we like take out like the ground buzz at 60 hertz that would be called a notch filter so you can see how when you got multiple bands you can really get into shaping the sound we could pull out the mid-range here so that it would be a little less am radio so look we're adding treble we're taking out the offensive s's we're removing a ground buzz and we're adding low end so when you get into multiple bands you can really start sound shaping some quick buttons that deserve mentioning is here where we decide the shape of our EQ. This allows the highs to pass. Let's set all these off to show you. This would be a bell curve setting right here. Ban uh, we can adjust it between a bell and a notch. This would be a low shelving which means when you turn up the bass, it turns up the bass below a certain frequency. It's not like a bell curve, it's a shelf. It turns up the bass below that. You can also have high shelving, which means it'll turn up the treble above a certain frequency. That's a shelf. So above this frequency, 8K treble is turned up. You also have your um, low pass filter would be filtering out hiss or treble where it's not necessary and your high pass filter which would filter out low end noise where it's not necessary you got your Q adjustment which is your width frequency which is your pitch you see the frequency here which is your pitch and then you have your gain I notice on the waves bundle that when you grab it with your mouse scrolling up and down doesn't really work you have to actually grab your mouse and drag it left and right